Hello, my name is Terry and my call sign Golf 4 Popper Oscar Popper G4 POP. And this tutorial is all about filtering in LogFlow M version 2. In my opinion, uh, LogFlow M has always had the most powerful filtering and selecting and sorting mechanism of any software available to amateur radio. And I'm uh, even more convinced that we provided this in version 2. Let's start off by a simple filter job <coughs> of perhaps needing to filter those QSL cards which have uh, not been received from LOTW. We'll just go to the QSL manager and choose LOTW. And today I'm interested in those QSL cards that I have not received confirmation of from uh, other operators. So we'll say those people to who I have sent to equals yes. I have to wait for it to refresh. It's quite a big logbook this one, so it does take a second or two. And we'll say received no. So this is now going to display only those QSLs from LOTW which have not been confirmed although we have sent one. And there you have your list. Now we've got uh, a substantial list of LOTW QSLs not received. You might want to then decide that <coughs> I need to... Uh, I'm not interested in the English stations but I'm particularly interested in knowing what has not been confirmed from American stations. So go to the filter down the bottom here and with time we will filter on the DXCC. We happen to know that the DXCC for America is 291. You might want to choose the country and type in United States of America, but I feel this is much quicker. Let's hit the plus button. You'll now see that filter's located in here. When you close this window, it will refine the filter, and you can now see that we've got 61 QSOs which have not been confirmed from American stations. And these are all of them listed here in this column. Just American stations, nothing else. So now you can, if you wish, start sending emails or whatever necessary to those stations <coughs> that you particularly want uh, confirmed. Perhaps you particularly need them on a special band. So let's put another filter in. So you're only interested in, um, for instance, those that you've worked on 60 meters so band equal to 60 m for meters press the lad button and now you have an extra one in there we'll click that and it's filtered now you see there's only four stations that you've not had confirmation from on 60 meters but you might want to go a bit further still i know we've only got four stations there and it's quite easy to see that there are two sideband contacts but let's say there's a lot of stations and you want to filter by sideband. So now you can go to mode equal to SSB. Click the red button, close the window, and now you've only got the two remaining sideband contacts you had with American stations on 60 meters. And you can even drill down further if you wish. You could go by what the signal strength was or the year that you had to contact, or the name of the guy. Anything that's listed in the filter list, as you said, almost every ADIF field, you can filter on any one of those. Conversely, let's get rid of some of these, and uh, just if you highlight one, click the little dustbin, it goes. Highlight another one, it goes. OK, so we just revert to that now. <coughs> There's 61 stations in there. Now you might want to say, but I now want to see uh, those that not only haven't sent me a look at the world confirmation, but uh, where the um, EQSL, um, sorry, the uh, ITZ, ITU zone is equal to three. And you can filter on that. So you, you can really chop and change and muck things around. There's, there are none that can form to that. When you finish with all this, you can just get rid of the filters. And now, let refresh. And it's back to showing <coughs> just those 
Look good with the world confirmations which have not been received even though you have sent one. But that's the filtering for QSL card or lookbook of the world or EQSL, any of the types of confirmation you might want to choose in these boxes here. Very simple, very straightforward. That might be that you want to filter and then export a list, um, perhaps by uh, an native file. So let's go to the QSO manager and using a similar format to the one we had before, let's uh, select filters and uh, we'll go again for the DXCC because it's something you've already seen. We'll select again 291 for America. Okay, and we might want another filter in there. Shall we say we just want a band equal to this uh, what, 40 meters? Okay, so now we have a, a list filtered there. There are 22 stations in America uh, that have been filtered for 40 meters only, and we want to send all those as an additive file. So, or perhaps as a CSV file. So click the select and deselect buttons at the bottom to highlight all of them. Export additive. And there are two ways of doing this. Either export a standard additive file. This only contains the standard files or fields which are included in the additive format. It does not include any of the LogFoM program specific fields. Things to do with awards for instance would not be exported. On the other hand, should you wish to export all of the fields or some of the fields, click export selected fields. To export all of the fields, click the green tick mark. Now every field is checked. Every field is going to be exported. Similarly, <coughs> you might not want to send all of them, you might just want to send three fields. Deselect them by clicking the red minus sign. You might just want to send the call. Set that as one. Uh, the QSO, QSO date, perhaps. Should be down here. QSO date. And perhaps the mode. Oh, oh, wrong way. Uh, mode, there we are. If you select those fields, when you click the um, send edit yellow button, it will come up and it's going to send those to, I'll send it to the desktop. And export has been done. I'll just close that down and I'll demonstrate that uh, there's the edit file. Only contains three fields, the call sign, the mode, and the QSO date. They're quite simple, sorry, the band of the QSO date. Quite simple to do and uh, very, very versatile. And you can use the same sort of filtering from any of the screens. You can do it from the recent QSO screen. The filter box is down here. Or you can do exactly the same. Or you can do it from the work before screen. If you type in a call sign, as you get the look up, you can filter on this as well. It's the filter statistics down here. So there's all manner of ways to filter in LogFoM. And uh, so easy to use. I hope this tutorial has been of use. Look out for the next one.